step by step level 5 lesson 9 study of still life using the picture of vegetables given in the border draw a composition also color it using pastel and color pencils let's create a composition with the given vegetables here so i would like to start with the kira here so this one i want to place it in a slanting direction right now i'm making a rough drawing then i want carrot behind the kira here It may come out of this side like a carrot may come here like this. You can just overlap and draw. Then I would like to place a turnip here right behind these two things. I would like to place the onion here. This is for the onion and let's place the lady fingers. The rough sketching. One lady finger and the other one. So let's go with the potatoes here. Got some gap and here I'm going to place it. There's one potato and then I would like to draw the next potato with uh, just by overlapping with the other potato. Here, just overlapped. I would like to go with the final sketching. What are the object completely appearing? That to be done in the beginning. Let's draw a ground line. Ground line it's always better to place the like, cover which is the last object here like this one and this this both are appearing. So let's draw a line passing through this vegetable. I'm taking deep yellow for the background. Starting the background here. Above the line is called background and below the line is called its foreground. Always prefer to start at the like left top corner and then come to right bottom corner. So we had covered coloring from this way to this way like this. It's always better. Take violet color, so the find like whatever the lines are there with the violet color that you have know to color it on the onion, like few lines. Take red color, give few strokes from the bottom. You can use caramel too instead of uh, red color from the 50 shades on pastels. Don't blend everywhere, leave some highlights. So whatever the white gaps on the things, look, no? these are because of light. Blend with white color. What are the things on the objects in white? Those are called highlights. Those are because of the source of light on those objects. Take carmine or maroon. If you don't have these both the shades, you can use red color or a dark pink. I'm using carmine. Few strokes from both the sides. I'm taking violet now. More few strokes. Medium yellow. Take 
taking a low color for this part lightly as light as possible taking carmine to color it very lightly this side you want to blend with white color you can blend or you can leave it like that white color of the sheet taking dark green and coloring just a small small pieces over here to mix with the lemon yellow lemon yellow taking a leaf green here if you don't have leaf green you can use dark green instead of this leaf green to give you strokes color just beside the lines if you want to show that the dark shades there you can make it dark with your color so that the green parts not everywhere should part so try to blend on the green color by leaving few gaps of white color See, I left a white gap here. I left a white gap here without coloring that, without blending with the yellow color. To so just to have a highlight on the part of this vegetable. The green color for the stem. Using a red color. Giving strokes in curve shape, like a curve, like. in this way taking orange color let's take dark green for the leaves here to mix with the lemon yellow i mean to blend with the lemon yellow take lemon yellow and blend here take dark green or a deep green Just beside the lines, round out some on the lines, and leaving some white gaps to blend with the lemon yellow. Taking brown color, brown, color lightly here on the potatoes, leaving the highlights. So this is the highlight part I left over here. even on this potato here leave some highlight color lightly as light as possible with brown color you're going to blend with the yellow ochre or buff color if you have in 50 shades you can use buff color take a yellow ochre or buff color as your brown becomes more like you will get it a brownish shade that's why i suggest you to color very lightly with brown color using a cerulean blue here for the foreground below the line is called foreground above the line is called background use contrast colors for the background like where what you not used here uh, with the object those colors you have to use for background and foreground to give a good look for your work just coloring under these vegetables and i would like to color now lightly take white color blend everywhere where i did light color That's it from lesson 9. Let's sign off.